Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to week five. Uh, sorry for the videos today being a little spaced apart. Um, there have been a few things come up that um, teachers kind of needed to take care of, I needed to look at. Um, so I ask your forgiveness in this video being a little delayed. Let's go ahead and jump into this week's lesson. So your criteria for success. So the things that you need to do this week are listed on this page. Um, it's pretty much the same standard that we've been doing in virtual learning, right? You're checking your packets, you're watching the videos. Um, and then lastly, I just want to make sure that we see clearly that you can make up any missing work from virtual learning. Okay, so if you're joining late uh, in the game, um, took a while to get internet set up, took a while to get um, routines uh, set up, go ahead and, and go back to week one and start making up any of the work from virtual learning. Uh, go for it, okay? Uh, Secondly, if you haven't already written it down, this would be a good time to pause the video and copy your CLO into your weekly packet. We, uh, again, are going to be writing ACIT responses using either the social power or the gender feminist lens to critique this week's text. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, this is an exemplar from last week. I just wanted to show it off so that we can start to see um, what these responses should look like. In the speech, the speaker is challenging, right? So remember last week we read a speech about um, uh, Sojourner Truth and really trying to nail down and get to the bottom of, of what separates men from women, why were women treated so differently at the time. Um, and so in her speech, this writer responds, the speaker is challenging the definition of what it means to be feminine. The speaker introduces the meaning of being a woman by saying they should be helped onto things. This could be a good place for a micro quote. Right? They could be, quote unquote, helped onto things and have neat little nice things. Then she goes and contradicts this and highlights the moments in her life where she didn't feel like she was being treated like a woman. She says, I have plunged or I've plowed, I've planted and gathered into barns. I could work as much and eat as much as the next man. Citations for their piece of evidence and now their interpretation of their evidence. She emphasizes the similarity she had with men because she wasn't treated like a woman. Instead, Instead, she was added to the victims who were forced to see and witness unbearable scenes due to racism, sexism throughout the centuries. She adds, in the end, the idea that women can be as strong and brave as a man, for she too was strong and she endured pain that most men would not. Right? This writer has identified pieces of evidence that they believe best support their analysis in answering the question. Right? They provide evidence, they provide interpretation. There's context going on. This is a strong response, okay? Um, this is one from last week with uh, propaganda. Again, just some more examples of what I'm looking for. Here are your essential questions. This week you get to pick one. You could focus on this short story. You could look and read the short story through the lens of the gender feminist, right? How does it, does this story challenge, reinforce, or critique? what it means to be masculine or what it means to be feminine. You could also approach it from the second lens and answer the question, how does the short story reinforce or critique or challenge a social or class conflict issue or problem? Okay, you get to pick one. Thank you, ma'am. Read the story and annotate for the EQ. How does the short story reinforce or critique or challenge what it means to be masculine or feminine? Again, these are just your essential questions re reworded for you. Um, once you're done reading and annotating, then begin answering your text-dependent questions in your packet. Your first text-dependent question, is there a social issue or class conflict you can identify in this story? If so, what is it? How is the author addressing it? Okay, so this is a three-part question. I need you to tell me if there is a social issue that you see. I need you to tell me what it is if you see it. And I need you to tell me how the author is addressing it. Your second question. In the speech, how are gender roles examined? How does the story change if it was a man the kin read into, or if instead of a young man, um, a young woman? Okay, so just some text-dependent questions I want you guys thinking through and answering after before, during um, your reading of the text, okay? Um, I will post another modeling video where I read the text and I have some guiding questions that we can think through. Um, but for now, I'm gonna continue with the slideshow. 
This is this week's free write quote. It is from our author this week, Langston Hughes. I put this quote, um, one of the first po pictures I posted on Instagram, I think. Um, regardless, the quote is really good. He says, hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. I just realized that our questions are not accurate, so I will update this in the slideshow and repost, um, but for the video goes, um, just know that these questions are not accurate. I apologize for that. Um, here's your suggested agenda for the week. Watch your weekly videos. I'll be posting a couple more with modeling, um, as well as some read-throughs um, and just some videos that I think might be helpful in preparation for week six and seven. Um, read and annotate the speech. Answer your text-dependent questions. Answer your EQ. Remember that we are moving into using our essential questions as essentially our final, okay? So use this time and make your essential question as best as it can be um, so that when we revise, uh, you have a clearer picture of what you want your writing to look like. Attend office hours as works for you. Turn in all of your work by midnight. Um, and again, if you're missing anything, please turn it in. Uh, it will be late, but something is better than nothing, especially if we are in the market to bring up our grades and um, finish out this year strong, okay? Um, so once again, I'll be posting a couple more videos. Um, reach out with questions. Come to office hours if you need it. Uh, thank you guys. Um, have a good week.